Andrew. We are going to taste some wine today. We're going to take you through a typical afternoon for us. <laughs> um, we have our crackers and cheese. And um, three our, bottles of wine. Three bottles of wine. So. It's normal. It's two, three in the afternoon. Kind of a typical, typical Thursday for us. Typical Thursday. So I got this box about a week ago, and I have been wanting to crack it open. I mean, I did open it, but we had a way to film it together because I thought it'd be more fun with the two of us. Inside, it's by Wine Awesomeness because wine is awesome mm -hmm. and pretty ginormous. Inside, you get a packet that talks about all the different wines that they have. The three we got in here so I like read up on that did you read that yeah this was actually kind of nice because if you're like me you know nothing about wine so I don't know what's going on with the wine here he was a prime Kendra candidate said, for this video Kendra just said hey there's some wine to be drank want to drink with me on camera so I was like <laughs> sure um, but anyway it kind of talks about all of them in here and um, it's cool it has um, like music that would go along with the wine and yeah. recipes that you can do that would like complement it. No, that, that's what I thought was really cool is it has a whole, it has a, a recipe for every wine that you can make with it. Yeah, I like that. And, and also, even in the back there was like, like milkshakes and stuff you can make wine with wine. Milkshake. So that's a little different. But. All the wines come in like this, so nothing in there now. They're all here, but I nice. just want to show you what it looks like when you get it. So. Um, you can get it with three bottles or you can do five. I have the three bottles and because we don't drink that much. You can just order like any bottle of wine on their website or hi Phoebe. Or you can get, you can have them customize three bottles for you, which I think is kind of fun and like yeah. a good surprise. And before we start tasting our wines and everything, I have a code below that you guys can get your a free box. So you get three wines for free. That's so cool. That is really cool. So I'll put that down below. No crackers for you. And at the very least, even if you don't like them, wine is always a good gift. It's a good gift. <laughs> give, exactly, so. yeah. Get and a box for free. And Valentine's Day is coming up. Treat your loved one. So, so we're going to start off with Raza. Raza. It's a sparkling wine. So, oh, did you see that? Is that going to say? The next thing I was going to say, it's listed in here. It shows being good with a lobster roll. And the lobster roll looks so good on there. So this is a light body. It's lean and elegant with a modest alcohol content that screams endurance. For you, my dear. Thanks. I don't know how to pronounce all of these. I will list it all for you guys. <laughs> I love sparkling wine though. It's probably my favorite. Okay, so we'll try and use some of the techniques that we learned wine tasting a little while ago. <laughs> we were talking about them earlier. So one was you use all your five senses. So Andrew's really into it. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to sound like I know something. So, you smell it? We're gonna get some comments and be like, you're drinking it wrong! <laughs> it's alright. Hater's it. gonna hate. Mm -hmm. mm. Ooh, very, uh, very soft on the palate. Very... <laughs> it's just crisp <laughs> and clean. It's perfect for like a warm day. Oh, it says, light as a feather and full of spritz. This airy white from Portugal lifts the palate with nerve and verve. Mm. If Sprite were reincarnated as a delicious European white wine, this is what it would be. Okay, that's a great way to put mm -hmm. it. Because I was going to say, it kind of, it's, it's, like it's champagne, but not as bubbly. And it has more of that... It's not as like dry as a champagne. Fruity it's a fruity taste. Yeah, it's not as dry. It's like a, a, a sparkling pinot. Maybe. This actually does taste pretty good. It says Granny Smith, not gonna lie. Meyer Lemon, and Lime. Do you taste that? Ooh, the Meyer lemon? Yes. <laughs> I, uh, I was tasting strong Meyer lemon. <laughs> Whether you just shoveled your driveway or got back from the beach, this wine will be there for you, smiling patiently. And then wash it down with a cracker? Yeah. There you go. Thanks. Set up for you. Now on to our second wine. Montenovo. This one is from Spain. It says, perfect for lunch for two. Mm. Perfect. And it's good with salmon. So this Godello is ultra geeky grape wine, 100 feet deep in broken slate. Born of stone and cool to the bone, mineral and inflections keep this fruitier, fleshier element of this juice on firm ground. Think peach skin, gardenia, and key lime. Oh, I love peaches. Mmm. Okay, one thing. My mom used to always grow gardenias. You smell and you, gardenias? You said gardenia in there. I kind of tasted like, like a hint of gardenia. 
Or maybe I was just thinking it because she said it. But definitely with both of these like whites. Yeah. I really do want seafood. Like I want the salmon. This would be really good with salmon. And if we had a lobster roll, that'd be that'd be awesome. I know. It says uh, a chiseled and gorgeous bod that walks the line between full and fine. If this is a medium oh, body. You want this bite? Okay. Let me feed you this one. Oh my god. Open up. Open. Up. Yeah. There you go, man. <laughs> Ooh, this is a Malbec. I'm a fan of Malbecs. I know nothing about Malbec. This Tell is me. from Argentina. It says that it's full body, so it's as big and beautiful as a full bodied can get. Mm. Like a weightlifter in a velvet tuxedo. Very nice. Quite a. Oh, wait, wait. Right there. What? Let's drink this really romantically. Ready? Sorry. What are you kidding me? There we go. Side, I've side clink. I've never side done clink. this before. Cheers. What? This Come is on. ruining my experience. No, no, no. Mm. It actually tasted better to me because of how we drank it. <laughs> that actually made it taste better to me. Ooh, they, one thing I'll mention. The legs. They told us to look for the legs. This one has legs galore. Legs on legs. The legs are the, when you swirl it around, <laughs> And they like drip down. Okay, take, take another sip. I want to see, notice if you do something. Because somebody told me this. Did you lick your teeth? I did. I Somebody told me this. Let me know if I'm right. That if you lick your teeth, that's a sign of a good wine. Like, like if you're drinking a really full body, right? You're like, because you really, I don't know. Somebody told me that. And so now whenever I lick, <laughs> that's my, a sign of whenever a good I lick wine. my teeth, I'm like, this is a good wine. This one's from Argentina. It goes good with a cherry cola beef jerky. Mm. And it kind of gives you directions, ingredients, how to cook that if you wanted to. Anyway, here's the write-up on it. Malbec worked its way into the hearts and mouths of Americans because it's seductive, smooth, and so deeply purple. The Argentines always drink the best stuff, so a rich, tooth-staining delight like this one is not to be taken for granted. So pretty. This one tastes okay. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. Really? Yeah. I like it. I want more. I don't think I've had a Malbec before though, but it definitely has kind of that purple grapeiness. <laughs> it's a red wine. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to say that, <laughs> but uh, because I usually like reds. I don't know. Not the biggest fan of this one. Well, you usually drink, like we usually have red zins and blends, so they're a lot lighter. Mm. This is like one, like a more heavy, body, I do like, full body. I do like my blends. Kind of thing I take from this, I think that box is pretty cool. It's sweet. <laughs> I'm like... Just because, like if you're someone like me who knows nothing about wine, but you did want to drink it, and you don't want to run through the aisles not knowing anything and asking everyone, mm -hmm. it's kind of cool just to get sent a box of wine and see if you like them. And definitely with wine, like we said earlier, I mean you could just, you could take it anywhere. Mm -hmm. It's nice if you get invited to like a party or something. Yeah, you can stock take, up. You can take wine with you, I don't know. I it's really like nice. it, and I, I kind of want to do this just film me so you guys can see what I get. Let me know if you want to see them, you know, more, more than this one. And I can get Andrew to get in some more videos. Maybe. That'll take some work. If there's more with alcohol, I think I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and definitely check this out. I mean, you get a free box, so if you want, if who doesn't want three free bottles of wine? Yeah. I do. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, what else do I have to say? I'm trying to think. Other than that, go Hawks. Oh, go Hawks. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Ta-ta for now. <laughs> <laughs> what, that's not a good one? Is that what he used to say on uh, Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. <laughs> How did Tigger say it? Um, P.I. Double Go. Uh, Alright. We'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye. We'll finish these bottles. Mm hmm. Compote meat. And flowers on the top. Fried Argentina. <laughs> Don't do creepy <laughs> Kyla, do you need your own glass of wine? What about a cracker with cheese? Whoa, nope, whoa. mine. <laughs> She's so mad. She's ready to drink it. Do you want to build a snowman? That's a wrap right there. You're lucky you got people like us to tell you about wine. Because we know it inside and out.